Miha, you can be whatever you want. Hello. She and she's Filipino. This guy keeps on saying, "Hi, Japanese girl. Hi." So he really mean. Hello. It's me. Hello. What's up, reality changes? We're about to eat some bomb poo poo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's that? that? Oh my god. I just picked up the kids from school and I was like, oh my god, we have to eat the process. Oh! Leave that in there, leave that out. Alright, okay. right, so so we wanted to share with you all the love we have for Pupusa so bad. So we're gonna sing a song. Ready? One. Kiso que te gusta. Kiso que te gusta. Boom. 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 A mi me gustan las pupusas. Anyways, how was your day today? How's everybody doing? Oh my god, it feels like it's been forever. We're getting ready to leave to LA. Uh, we're gonna stay in a hotel tonight and then we're gonna go in the morning. We're gonna do some other filming in LA. And uh, yeah, that's it. Show me your bae with your best gangster look. Ready? One, two, three, go. Are you doing? Alright, give the glass to your sister and see if you can do it. Ready and set, go. No man, So we're eating pupusas right now at the restaurant, of course, one of my favorite meals. And we were just talking about race and why, Alexa was just asking me, why do some people, are some people born dark skin? Why are some people born lighter skin? I'm not entirely sure. I know that because of the color of your skin, there's a lot of discrimination, there's a lot of racism, and that's not fair for other people, especially people of color like us, you know? I mean, I, may, I might be lighter skin, but I'm, I'm Mexican, you know? No, we're peach skin, we're people. What color is Alexa? We're just lighter skin, that's all. I have native blood. I, I, I have I have my ancestors skin. But daddy, but daddy, why do I don't have Alexa skin? And I have and I have peach color. You have different because we were born differently. Nothing wrong with that. I want my sister to Because you get it from my dad. Yeah. And, and my dad is my dad. My dad, my dad, my dad is a mom. This is a tough conversation. And Papa. Honestly, the topic of race is a very, it's a very tough talk conversation, especially talking to the kids, you know. But all I can tell the kids is that to always love their skin, right, Alexa? I like my skin. To love the color of your skin, no matter what skin you have, and to love other people's skins, and don't judge them by the color of their skin. There's so much discrimination out there because people think that the color, today. the color of your skin is going to determine if you're good in school, Papa. or you're a criminal, or you're, or you're going to do something. And I think that. Or yeah, like, just because someone's Mexican doesn't mean they're gonna grow as cholos and they're gonna be like... There's a lot of discrimination and there's, there's still a lot to teach the kids, you know, because it's a conversation that or I have to have to with them Indiana. soon. I mean, wow. but it's just a matter of how to tell them, you know, because it's such a tough thing. You know, I don't know how you all deal with race in your countries or in your place where you live, but it's like, Papa. here in San Diego, it's, it's, it's still, you can still feel the tension between like, um, different cultures and different races, but people should never see each other differently because of the color of their skin. There should, there should be respect, you know? Within the Latin American community, there's a lot of different cultures and different languages too. So, you know, and, there, and when you come to, especially here in San Diego, Salvadorians and, and um, Puerto Ricans and all, all the different Latino, Latino cultures get confused with Mexicans. Which is very daddy, expensive. daddy, daddy, we don't want to talk about daddy, but my friend, every time his name is Desmond, he, you know that girl Alexa was talking about? She's my friend. She goes in my class. Her name is Angelina, and she and she's Filipino. This guy keeps on saying, "Hi, Japanese girl. Hi." No, so he's really mean, and he's bossy. And he's like, he's like the teacher, but he's like, he's like, "Hi, hi, Japanese girl." And then this guy, and the girl said, "I'm not Japanese." And then he kept on being racist. And he's like, and he's like, "You have really, really right skin." No, no, no. And that's the kind of thing that makes me mad is that even in the class that just because they think they look Japanese doesn't give us the right or anybody the right to say arigato because they look Japanese. You know you don't know if they're well, Japanese. Like, you don't know if they're Japanese. You don't know if they're um, Chinese or Filipino or Korean or South Korean. You need to be very careful how you say things. And action. Oh,
At three. One, two, three. It's really hard to believe, but I'm still full from the pupusas, and it's already here at night, and we're in Los Angeles already. I'm here in Los Angeles with Nancy, and everyone's really tired. I'm like, I see everybody eating. I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? I just ate two, two big pupusas. Oh, no. <sighs> we're here in LA because we're going to do a quick thing with Target. We've been doing a lot of that stuff recently, and... I'm just tired, tired. Driving is exhausting. Reality change, we just had a very, very long day of filming and we are heading back to San Diego. Saying goodbye to everybody. Bye, Nina. Bye, great job. It was awesome. Kimri, take care. Bye. Look at her. She's like multitasking. Love the smile. <laughs> Dude, it was a long day. We're heading back to San Diego. Um, it was really cool to film. We're doing this really cool commercial for Target and we're so excited about it because it was so fun. We're all working together. We're heading back to San Diego. We got to beat the traffic. So that's it. It was an awesome day. Everyone did an incredible job. Nancy job. De debuted her outro. Oh my God. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to do the outro and I'm like, all right, go ahead. You do you, girl. She's like, wait, wait what am I supposed to say? It's not <laughs> easy. It's not easy. Whatever. <laughs> no, I think next time, yeah, I mean, we're going to do half and half. So they usually send Jorge the links and stuff. So I like to practice and be prepared. I just don't kind of like to be thrown in stuff. She's CC'd in all the emails. She's lying. <laughs> you got CC'd. Mm -hmm. what, what, what we did learn today is mm -hmm. that the kids did an incredible job. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, it, it, I'm so excited about this video and I'm so excited because I think it's gonna come out great I was really impatient because I was flustered I was just like you know but I, I had to put myself together and just keep on going that's how life is right girl don't procrastinate that's right no procrastinate no do not look at my life and now I'm eating this delicious delicious Mm -hmm. Let's go. So we we decided to get out of the freeway, and uh, we ended up here at the at the Irvine Spectrum, and we ended up watching a really really cool movie called um, Goosebumps. It was so 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 funny, and I loved it. We loved it because I used to read those books when I was a kid, and Alexa started reading them too. And I think Nancy, did you ever get a chance to read any of the books? And it was like really really cool to see like some of these characters go alive, and it was just really cool. I saw Eliana was like a little scared sometimes. Ready, right, Elena? I didn't like Slappy. Dude, those books bring memories when I, when I read them. I hate like, Slappy. I felt like her little no, heart was No, three years ago. Three. Yeah, and Nancy was holding her in her, in her lap, and Eliana's heart was like... Boop, 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 boop. Hey, well, I didn't, but I didn't like Slappy. I, my, the one I don't like is Slappy. Let's get out of here, huh? After a long, very productive day. Oh my gosh, she's driving. I get to be the passenger. Yes, once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. It's about time. Uh. Okay, I'm not trying to hurt you, Eliana. You can do it. But I just don't like it. Bullshit. Bullshit.